Hello and welcome to today's devotion. My name is Toba and with my wife Abimbola, we are the African Connect Pastors for Audacious Church. This week, we are on a journey through Matthew 28, 16 to 20, the Great Commission, a moment in history where Jesus equipped, empowered, and enabled his followers to change the world. We've looked at the power of obedience and the call to make disciples today. We'll look into the authority of Christ. In Matthew 28, 18, Jesus makes a powerful declaration. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Before commissioning his disciples, he assures them that he holds all power and authority. This statement is the foundation for the Great Commission and for our confidence as believers. When we grasp the authority of Christ, it transforms the way we live and serve. Jesus isn't sending us out on our own. He's sending us with his authority. We are his ambassadors carrying his message with the assurance that he reigns over all. The truth gives us courage in the face of challenges. When we encounter opposition, fear, or uncertainty, we can remember that Jesus is in control. His authority extends over every circumstance, every trial, and over every heart. We don't need to fear rejection or failure because we are operating under the power of the reason Christ. <laughs> Moreover, this authority is comprehensive. It's not just authority over spiritual matters, but over all of heaven and earth. Whether in the mundane tasks of everyday life or in, in, or in significant moments of decision, Christ's authority remains. He is sovereign over our lives, guiding and directing our steps as we engage in the mission of making disciples. We can move forward with boldness, knowing that Jesus is not only with us, but that he reigns over every aspect of creation. His authority empowers us to go beyond our limitations and trust in his strength. As we pray today, Jesus, thank you for your authority and power. Help us to live confidently in the knowledge that you are in control. As I serve, as we serve and share your gospel, Jesus, remind us that we do so under your authority. And everyone says, Amen. Love your church. Join me tomorrow as we continue on our journey through Matthew 28, 16 to 20. God bless you.